Hello and welcome to the internet. My name is Jake Dragon 7 and welcome back. Let's play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we opened up our way to the ancient cistern and took on a strange uh, little side quest in Skyloft. And today, well, it's time to uh, head on to greater things. And once I can learn how to swim. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, okay then. So yeah, just do this. And then... There you go. Alright. And dramatic entrance. Ooh. Link is quite a drama queen, as you can probably tell. Quite a drama queen indeed. Alright, so... Yes, here we are. Alright then, the Ancient Cistern. To mention many times before, this is a fan favorite dungeon, so it's gonna be pretty fun being able to take this on today. And also, when you know the other episodes will be taking this on. Although, as you can probably imagine, all the episodes in here we recorded in just one straight sitting. So, uh, yeah, for me, it'll be one day. So, uh, that's fun. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's gonna cut down some grass because, you know, it's always the best thing to do in a dungeon, in Zelda Dungeon. You know, not explore and solve puzzles, just cut grass. One of the things you do basically all the time when playing a Zelda game. Alright, so right off the bat, we're going to check out this exterior part. Or like, in this interior, I don't know, whatever. Okay then, let's see what we can figure out from that. Like I said, like I said before, this is a water dungeon, however... Excuse me, it's also much more than a water dungeon. As stupid as that probably sounds. No, there is quite a bit to this dungeon. It, it really is, like I said, more than just a water dungeon. I mean, even if that's kind of more or less what it is at the core. There's just quite a bit to this dungeon that makes it so damn good. Alright, so it's back, rear, I think left hand, right hand, maybe, possibly. I should probably check that again just to be sure I'm not doing this wrong. Uh, wait, what's that? So wait, that's... Okay, I think it's switch. Um, just to be safe for now, I'm gonna see what that switch... Or, you know, I can just get eaten by, uh, Chew. It's great. Uh, let me see. Oh. Or, you know, I can just miss it. Because that's, you know, how I do things here. Um, let's explore here first. Because this may be fairly interesting. Mm, Alright. So, on the one hand, definitely we can jump down. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, though. I do want to be cautious about... Well, okay, actually, that should... Theoretically, maybe, possibly. Okay, is that? So that'll lead me further into the dungeon. Oh wait, what's that? Let's see, X four. Wait a second. What's here? What's an exit? Jeez, kept. Huh. You know what? Wait. Let me first and foremost go check out what that X is for because that's something that's certainly striking me. It's a bit odd. All right. So it's just on the other side of the room. Cool. Then right, gotta remember the tilt the Wii Moot properly. Now nah, let me gain some air. So the X is just okay. So the X is this right here, whatever this is. So I take it I can, yeah. So I can travel through there. Um, all right, that's interesting. I'm not exactly sure why that's something I need to know. Or like have to have X off on the map, but um, apparently the game thinks it's pretty important, so may as well keep it in mind. Oh, you know, obviously it'll become relevant as we explore the dungeon and kind of get to um figure this place out a bit more. So, calling the great statue are inscriptions of gratitude. So, back, rear, back of the right hand, back of the left. Hand. 
carved into the statue. So if it's just the back, I mean, in, you think there is something back here. I mean, obviously it could always be underwater, but I, th I feel like that's more where the rear would be. So, certainly not helping me out too much right now. Let me see what's underneath this section here. Oh, you know what I think it might be? Ooh, it might be the order. So wait, that's that. Oh, uh, I think, okay, I think I get what it's saying now. If I'm not mistaken, there is a puzzle later in this dungeon that has something to do with that. So I have to remember what this is. So it's top, bottom, and... Is it right, left? Top, bottom. Yeah, that's what it is. There's something in this dungeon that'll be coming up later that's like you have to hit like these things in a certain order or whatever. Alright. So top, bottom... No, right, right. It's right then left. Okay. Back of the right hand, back of the left hand. So... Also, uh, be careful. You can obviously grab these rupees, but you kind of got to... Not quite. If I'm not mistaken, it will close on you after you collect it. So you kind of got to dash through it a little bit. Yeah. The same thing should be true of the other hands. Now, um... Okay. So right, and then I'm going to take it. It's just left. No, wait. I'm trying to dash up. There we go. Pfft, okay. All right then, so top, bottom, right. And I'll make sure this is left. All right, let's see here. Yep, all right, there we go. So I got the order down. Like I said, this won't be important quite yet, but it should um, come into play not too long from now. So, um, yeah, let's start. I to find out where that room, or I go back to where that room was that we unlocked earlier. Right here. Alright then. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Now, for these lily pads, if you jump on them from a high surface, they do flip upside down, so you can't walk on them. Um, so yeah. It's important to remember. Uh... Alright, now, of course, these annoying uh, Sculptulas from the Skyview Temple. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not really that afraid of spiders, but, um... You know, I'd rather not get eaten by a giant spider with a skull on its back. I need another skull in the name of Kenya. Figured this was just... Up bottom, right, left. Okay, I was kind of worried that I was going to screw up that. Oh, wait, is it? What's this say again? Maybe should I should have read this closely. Pointing in four directions right, like the only boost this in your temple secret order. Yeah, it was top, bottom, right, left. No, nope. top, bottom, no. Mm, let's just switch to this. Why is this not working for me? Alright, so, um, this is actually post commentary. So, basically, it, I actually recorded this a couple months ago before I moved. And, uh, when I recorded this part, there was a lot of, uh, background noise, and this lasted for several minutes. So,. Decided I just come in and do some post commentary. Normally, I would just kind of cut the audio and just like watch the gameplay. But again, there's like three or four minutes of this silence. So, yeah. So, um, made it through that locked door. It took me way longer than it should have to actually have unlocked that. I was just being a complete dumbass. <laughs> um, uh, recording this video. Jesus, still being a complete dumbass right now. But uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna put the sculpture right here. Trying to turn this around. Not quite working out too well. Um. I can just, there we go, so that worked there, finally. He just kind of slowly drowns. Alright. 
And I uh, went for the rupee, but uh, was not able to get that, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, I kept, I kept going for it, but, uh, spoiler, spoiler alert, I don't get it, at least yet. I think I might actually be able to get it later. But, uh, yeah, pretty much, like, seeing this for the first time in two months right now, so cut me some slack if this is, like, terrible commentary. <laughs> um, also, I'm, like, tired right now. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you flip that over, so I just have to jump off a high ledge to flip this over. Um, we just saw kind of earlier with that first room. Although now it has actually, like, relevance in the dungeon. Earlier was just kind of a thing that happened. And now we kind of have to worry about that. So, um, yeah, just swim through that. Takes you around to another area of the dungeon. What a surprise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so right here, there is a, uh, spoiler alert. There is a key in this chest. Uh, yes and no, I just dropped the biggest spoiler since, uh, no, I don't even know. I don't feel like giving examples right now. <laughs> this is like the worst commentary ever, but I really don't care. So yeah, obviously that key is going to be used for that center door, which is going to lead into something pretty snazzy, as we were about to see um, in a minute or something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we just have to run back there, which is what I'm doing right now. Kind of takes a minute, but um, <laughs> yeah. So, just swim over there, of course. Swimming controls, not the most amazing in the world. Honestly, pretty good. I mean, they're some of the best swimming controls in any Zelda game. And I think Majora's Masks, Zora Mask was better, but, uh, this is still really good. For, um, in Skyward Zero, they still made it work very well, very well. Of course, we can see up here, there are quite a few layers to this inner statue portion of the dungeon. Um, which does make for some pretty interesting level design later on. But right now, obviously, there's not really any way we can go up, and even if we could, there is a locked door up there. So, sadly, there's not much we can do about that at the moment. However, we can head down, so... Yeah, you're just looking down, seeing what's happening, and we're just gonna go for it. Um, yeah. So, this is the Stall Master. This is a, uh, obviously a mini boss of the dungeon. Also, if you just heard the volume drop, it's because this boss's music is really loud. I'm actually gonna turn it up right now. That's why it's a little bit better. Alright, there you go. I did turn the volume down because this is a super loud song. But, um, yeah, so this boss is basically like the style post we fought earlier, except he has, well, currently has two swords, I believe is the same as the style first. But, if you look to his sides, he actually does have a few extra weapons, which, as you'll see in just a moment, he does begin to use. Um, so yes, the stall master is a lot more dangerous than just any old stall first. Um, I feel like since you usually saw the uh, fight stall first in groups, it almost makes him a bit more dangerous. But, um, yeah, as you can see here, starts using his other weapons to kind of screw you over. So you have to be a lot more precise with your strikes. There's really, in this situation, there's really only one way you can actually hit him. If you just get, um, stabbing him. And, uh, this is actually sometimes necessary. Sometimes he'll have his sword blocking off four directions, so you have to, um, hit him right through the middle. Yeah, it's a pretty cool mini boss. I do like it quite a bit, and does a good job taking an earlier idea and just making it more interesting, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty much the best way to word it. Um... Because you do also see these things quite often in Hyrule Warriors, so, you know. Very familiar design, very cool design, too. And, uh, it looks like I'm able to come on with the standard, uh, commentary, so yeah. Um, there you go. Alright, sorry about that break in the commentary. Obviously, I've done some post-commentary. I'll talk about the Stallmaster a bit. And this mini-boss right here, of course. Alright, so yeah, overall, though, this is a very fun, um, mini-boss. Be a bit frustrating, especially because still masters in this game their stuff is. Can just be a bit frustrating to fight. Um, just because of the motion controls, but I mean, it's really fun. It's cool. Like the design of this thing is awesome, especially in Hyrule Warriors. I think it's just awesome. And I actually never realized how that attack was taken from Skyward Sword. I mean, Hyrule Warriors. Oh crap. Okay. Oh man, I'm taking shit from my damage here. Um, and there we go. That is a boss. <laughs> I definitely prefer this over what we had to do in the Skyview Temple, like for revisiting it when we had to fight like three um, stoppers at once. Because it was so, like, in a main series Zelda game, fighting multiple enemies at the same time is not fun. It's very frustrating. Like, Hyper Warriors um, is, like, designed around that. Like, you're supposed to be killing, like, 30 enemies at a time. 
But in this game, not so much. It's a lot more slow and, like, reaction-based. I mean, Hyrule Warriors obviously has a lot of reaction-based uh, stuff in its combat, but it's still a lot more fast-paced and high action. This game is just a lot better to just fo have your focus on one thing rather than a bunch of things. Because, you know, like I said, it's slower. Anyway, though, this is the whip. This is the dungeon item, and it is quite fun. Um, so, yes, the whip basically allows you to uh, just kind of last them on the stuff. So, in this dungeon, it's used for very um, interesting things. It's basically used for being able to pull levers like that one right there. So, you just take out the Wii mode and pull it in. Pretty standard fare, but like I said, it's still pretty fun and it's used pretty well in this dungeon. So, um, yeah. Um, alright, so if we can just get out of this. Um, oh, crap. Okay, wait. Let's try that. I was checking the, like, recording time and I was, like, not paying attention to the screen. Mmm. Now, actually, to be fair, you know, we probably don't have to be here quite yet. Is it still too early for us to come up here, I think? No, maybe not. Okay. Let me see now. Where are we now? Uh, so we're just on the first floor still. I want to see what's out here. Just in case. Alright, so, um... Now, I don't see any reason for us to be up here yet. So, it's hard to tell right now. I'm trying to look for areas that we can use. You know what? I actually just thought of one. If we go back to that first door we were at in the beginning. Well, you know, where we had um, the way we went for the lock. Um, there was actually um, some of these lily pads there that were turned upside down. It was actually something that the whip is used for. Um, there's the lily, if you turn them upside down, you can actually turn them right side up by using the whip on them. Now, is there anything? Okay, there's nothing down here to do. However, there was in the room that was after this, so I figure, maybe, possibly, if we go check that out, we can uh, figure out something we need to progress here. Uh, I hate dealing with these things. Oh, these enemies are really annoying in this game. At least, that's my opinion on that. I, I find them annoying. They're, I really like their design in this game. I just find that they're, they're just so annoying to fight. Okay, so... Um, which of these would be... Oh, okay, I guess I have to fight you now. Mm, my arm hurts because I'm like... Like that, that was not fun. I just had to like basically just thrust my arm back and forth, kind of like I was like trying to. You know what? I'm not gonna actually talk about what I was just doing with my arm, but uh, let's just say it looks suggestive. I think you can all you can all visualize it. Not that you have to or want to, but um, you should want to really. But hey, you know what? It's there. It's something you can do with your life, and I. So that's the boss key. Maybe we're supposed to, maybe not yet. Alright, I'm gonna head then um back out to where we just were. And I think it seems like we can continue traveling around the room, so I see no reason to uh, not do that. Oh, damn it. These things barely stay freaking like Like as soon as you get so, uh, it's, it's frustrating. Alright though. I guess I should probably fight that Deku Bubba right now, huh? Maybe I can get a heart from it. Okay, well, I got, I'm getting hearts from the plants around it. The grass, I guess. Grass is green. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Daisies are yellow. Grass is green. <sighs> Alright, so... Let's see here. Oh, uh, yeah. So, basically, if we continue traveling here, perhaps... We can do some cool things. So, another use for the whip, um, is... Yeah, in this game, at least. 
is something um, where you can basically use it as like the grappling hook from Wind Waker. And you can just swing across gaps as long as there's, you know, something to, uh, you know, grapple onto. Uh, can't think of words. Uh, let's see then. So, yes. Yep, we can do that in this game. So, yeah, that's pretty fun. I've noticed, like, you, you, like there's the, um, let's see, there's that, like, boulder section at the end of the Earth Temple, and now you have a whip that you like, swim across gaps and stuff. This game is very much Indiana Jones. <laughs> it has, like, a lot of Indiana Jones elements in it for some reason. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me there. Alright, so we... We'll only need to get one more key in this dungeon. And that's not for that's not until later. So for right now, I will cut down all this grass. And I will figure out what to do with my life. Alright, so I think I have to wait for it to like lower its tail. And fatal blue. Well, 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 okay. Well. No, it's fine. I didn't want to get a few extra rupees from killing an enemy. Nah, nah, nah maybe not. No, it's fine. Maybe another time. Uh, honestly, as soon as I realized I was going to go for a fatal blow and I kind of realized how close I was to the edge, I was kind of thinking, like, if there wasn't something to stop you from jumping off the edge, I was going to jump off the edge. But I had enough faith in this game that maybe they would, you know, have not done that. You know, like, can you, you know, can you not? But, um, no. Game, it did. Alright, so let's see here. So, unfortunately, I can't find anything to whip in there. And it doesn't look like it'll be very easy to get to that section right there. Hmm. Let's see here. What can I do? Well, to be fair, maybe, maybe nah, that won't work. Now, sadly, I don't see anything in here for us to um, grab, like to whip. Uh, hmm. Certainly a predicament. All right, let's head back real quick, and maybe I can find another. I don't know why I had the Dawn of Southern accent there. Let me be sure. Okay, so I've already explored everything here. I guess there's nothing over there. That's strange. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, at this particular moment, I can't really find a good route take to head onward, but, um, I'll figure something out. Let's see, is there something down here? No. Mm, if I just head back here, maybe that'll give me some kind of route to take. Because right now, there isn't really any clear path. I mean, I know, obviously, like I mentioned. Hmm. <sighs> No, excuse me. Yeah, as I mentioned, there are some beds you can still take, but I mean, I can't... Or, like, you know, you can use the, um, whip to, like, fix the lily pads, but I mean, I can't see that being of any use right now. I mean, we already collected the map. We already saw that our previous section doesn't really have anything for us, and yeah, this doesn't either. And I traveled a bit farther than I wanted to there, but whatever. Wait, no, okay, wait, that was just the door for the whip. Never mind. I saw an extra door down there. I was like, oh, yeah, let's uh, see what what I can do from there. Of course. Alright. Just mm, probably reading too deep into that. Alright. Now, I... Okay, I guess I may as well go back into that room one more time and try to explore it. So it's the only thing I can really think. Yeah, it's the only thing I can really think to do right now. 
you know what though, um, I think we're starting to get a bit far in this episode, so I think I'm going to cut this episode right here, hope you guys, so yeah, uh, I cannot do outros today, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, if you enjoyed, maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you want to see future episodes, and I will see you all in the future, bye.